Hey guys, Daryl here. In today's video, we're going to be talking about what kind of content you should make and how to figure out what kind of content you should make for your YouTube channel or what kind of content you want on your stream, either or. Right, let's get straight into it. Bring on the intro. Alright guys, so we're gonna start off with YouTube content, I guess, and then we can move to stream related content. Some of them, I guess, could uh, correspond with each other, if you know what I mean, not correspond, but you know, one may work for the other. Right, so YouTube first. So YouTube content, you may be looking to start a new YouTube channel, or you may be looking to do YouTube for the first time, and you may be thinking to yourself, what kind of content should I do? You may be thinking, oh, well, I want, I, I want to do this, but uh, there's uh, loads of people out there that have done it. Now, let me just start off and say, it is gonna be very hard for you to make content that has never been seen before. I'm not saying it isn't possible, it is possible to do content that no one else is doing, okay? That is possible. But don't worry about doing content that other people do, because a lot of people, you get a lot of YouTubers that will do content that other people are doing. No, that, that's totally fine doing content that other people do, because each YouTuber is different, each YouTuber and content creator brings something to their content that other people don't. Like, their personality, their persona, their, their like, you know them who they are they are the difference between someone doing let's say let's say someone doing a let's play on uh slender man first game came prepared. so let's say you got a youtuber who's doing a let's play okay and then you want to do a let's play playing the same game now it's going to be different because it's going to be different because it's a different person they're going to have different reactions they're going to have different personality about them you know the way they jump scared they will react different it's going to be different content it's going to be the same game but you are what makes the content you know you're doing a let's play for like i'm talking about for example you are what is the difference there so it is fine to do content that other people already do that is fine um because you make it unique and you make it different um so if you're gonna if you're going down a route like that then you really want to try and bring yourself out don't try and be um don't try and be monotone you know it's like I don't know, like, say, say, like, for example, I don't know, you do an intro, like, I go, like, you know, hey, guys, you know, don't try to be monotone, like, hey, guys, it's here. Today we're going to be talking about, you know, you want to try and be lively, entertaining, and, you know, you want to bring value to your content. So, bear that in mind. Don't, and don't try and force yourself to be something you're not, okay? Don't try and um, think, okay, I don't want to do this, I don't want to... I don't want to say this, or I don't want to be like this, because I'm going to be on a video, people are going to be watching. That's fine. Be, be you. Be who you are. Let you show through the camera. Be who you are. Okay? Okay? Right. Now, if you're thinking, what kind of content should I make, and what's the best for me? Honestly, there is no right answer to it. There's no right answer to it. Um, like I've spoke about in one of my videos a while ago, uh, we were. I was saying about... Uh, I was originally going to make different type of content and I was starting to work on it, I was starting to edit it I was starting, because I was going to do like gaming content, right? Uh, you know, like me playing games, not like let's plays or such, but me playing games and edit it I edited a few videos, I uploaded them privately uh, And then I was like, you know what, I, don't, I, don't, I just don't think I want to do this content So I cancelled it all and then this is the type of content I'm doing now, okay? I will just say one thing though, you make sure you're doing content that you will enjoy. And make sure it's something you are gonna enjoy doing it full stop, you know, the editing, the thumbnails. Maybe you don't enjoy that necessarily as much as making the content, but just make sure you enjoy what it is, the type of content you're gonna do, okay? Um and even if you pick something, it's okay to change down the line. There's so many YouTubers out there that change the content up. Like I am starting to do now myself. Like I'm not changing it dr dramatically. Like I'm, I'm still doing similar relative content, but I'm doing more like how to content to provide more information as such. Because you know, you, you may do content and then you realize you need to change it up. Because that's a good, that's a good thing to do. You need to, you need to look back at yourself. You know, say you're doing it for so many months and and you're not seeing the progress you would like to see. Um, then you need to think, am I, am I doing something wrong? Uh, am I, you know, for me, am I providing the right information? Is my content good quality? Is it entertaining? Does it bring value? And if it doesn't, if none of them, if one of them isn't like checked off, then that's what you need to work on. Say you're not being entertaining enough, then that's what you need to work on, being more entertaining. Okay. 
So it's okay to change content up, because like I was saying, there's a lot of YouTubers out there that started off doing one type of content, and it didn't work out for them, so maybe after a year, they changed the content up, and then that worked for them, that got them the progress and the growth they wanted and they were seeking. So it, a lot of people do change the type of content, because you know, it's when you're starting, it's a learning curve, you gotta, you start off, and if it doesn't work out, then you need to change, because if you don't change, you just, you, you keep you'll keep going and not getting anywhere with it. You won't get no progress, no growth. So you do need to change things up every now and again um, if it's not working out or you're not getting the views, you're not getting the subs, you're not getting the growth you want, then you need to look back at yourself and see if there's something you can do differently, something you can change, or if you should change this type of content. So YouTube content, honestly, it's all down to you what you want to start off doing. As long as you enjoy it and you're happy making that type of content, then go for it, go for it, 100% go for it. But just bear in mind, check back on yourself maybe after three months or six months set like a set like a mark for yourself maybe six months okay so in six months time after making this type of content weekly daily however often you're gonna post okay after you've hit that mark six months look back at yourself see if you've got where you wanted in them six months see if you've got the kind of growth you were looking for and if you haven't watch some of my videos see if there's a way to improve your videos your content and your edits your thumbnails see what you can improve because you always should be looking to improve because there's always room for improvement guys always always 100 room for improvement always okay so the last thing i'm going to say about this is yeah just just go go for any content anything you want to do doesn't matter if people have done it before or if you've got some original ideas just go for it okay it's a learning curve you've got to you've got to start somewhere everyone starts somewhere okay so just go for it and look back at, look back at yourself and if you need to change the type of content then change the type of content if you need to change the stuff you're doing about yourself like if you're not being entertaining enough or you know lively enough bring in uh, quality content that provides useful information or you know relative content then then change someone up now we're gonna move on to streaming side of things on the type of content maybe you should do for your streaming, which it is more or less gonna be similar to what we just talked about on YouTube. Now when it comes to streaming, it's it's type of content it, it doesn't have necessarily such a, a wide horizon as YouTube, okay? There's still plenty of different content you can do out there. You know, you got a lot of people that play games in there. You got people that do podcasts. You got people that do art. Um, and necessarily, when you got your podcast and like you just chatting, we're well, just chatting alone can be about anything. I've seen people do just chatting, like a uh, counselling. So it literally, there's there is a lot to do on Twitch too. Um, not necessarily just Twitch, but streaming. You know, like the same. You got podcast, but you can be talking about anything on a podcast. Yeah, and it could be podcast about gaming. Uh, I know if like Tarkov, they do a podcast, so it's a podcast about Tarkov and updates and stuff like that. So it literally. You, you have options now i'm gonna say more or less the same things to a degree um if you're gonna start streaming set yourself a goal how, however many months and pick a type of content and say you want to do gaming you want to stream games okay set yourself a target maybe six months and during that six months when you get to the six month mark check back on yourself watch your streams and see what you can do differently if it's not going the way you want. Think, okay, are these the right games I should be playing? Are these games gonna get me the views? Have a look at the ratio, like, um, is this game, how many people are watching this? Are people interested in this game? Are people interested in watching this live? Um, or is it too popular? Is there like 100,000 people watching it for like 20,000 different streamers broadcasting it? Well, that's, that's not gonna be good if you're starting off. So think about the games you're doing. Maybe you should change up your games, okay, if it's not going the way you want. And if, you, if the games you're doing are fine, um, okay, then think about yourself. Think, okay, am I providing unique entertainment that only can be found on my channel? Like, you want your channel to stand out and be different because you are the difference between you and someone else streaming the same game. So you, you need to then look at what am I doing that other people aren't doing? What can I do differently to make myself stand out? Which can lead to, you know, branding and stuff like that, you know, having your colour scheme and all that. But that aside, put that aside, your branding and your colour scheme, you may think, well, okay, what, what, what can I do different? Well, look back, see if you're engaging enough, because the difference between YouTube content and Twitch is people come to Twitch for entertainment, obviously. Well, it depends if they're watching like a podcast or like that, but so yeah, people come to Twitch for entertainment, engagement and interaction. So then you need to look back at yourself, am I being entertaining enough, am I being interacting with chat and the community and new people coming in? And if you're not, be more interactive with the people, ask more questions, 
talk more about yourself, tell people tell the people more about yourself, tell people what you do in your day-to-day -day activities, what you do day-to-day -day life, um, your hobbies, your interests, what you think about the game you're playing, what, what you've got about upcoming plans and stuff. So you can be more interactive, more more engaging with people. Maybe that's what you need to work on. And it's just you need to look back at yourself and see what you can change. Maybe change some stuff in your stream, maybe improve the quality of stream, maybe get a better camera or something, or maybe get a camera, you know, look back at yourself and go, okay, this isn't going the way I want, what can I do? Check the games, like we said a second ago, check your games, see if they're the right type of games for you to stream. Um, check on yourself, see if you're being entertained and engagement enough. And it, 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 honestly, just do follow, follow your heart, and follow what you want with both YouTube and Twitch, okay? And if it doesn't work, like I said, change things here and there. It is, it's good to change. I know some people fear change, some people don't like change, but honestly, it, it change isn't always that bad. So if, you, if you've got stuff you can change that you think will better your channel, regardless if it's streaming or YouTube, then change it and see how it goes. And if it doesn't end, if it goes worse, then just, just go back or try something else, okay? But there's always room for improvement. It doesn't, matter, it doesn't matter how good or successful a person is. There is always room for improvement. Always. I, I believe that at the bottom of my heart. Um, it doesn't matter if you are the best streamer in the world. With the most amount of views. There, I guarantee you there's still little things. You know, they're, they're probably on point with a lot of things. You know, engagement, interaction. But there's still probably tiny little points that they can improve. Because there's always room for improvement. Don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. Okay. So there's always ways to improve. So always look back at your content regardless what it is, Twitch or YouTube, um, see how you can improve. So at the end of the day, if you're looking at what, and you want to know what kind of content you should start doing, just start doing it. Just start making the content that you want to do, that you will enjoy doing, okay? You start streaming or creating the content for YouTube that you would like to do and that you would be happy doing and see how it goes. Take it from there. Just, just take the first step by starting doing that content and improve on the way. It's a journey, okay? It's a journey. And during this journey, there's, there's gonna be high points and low points and you're gonna have to, you will have to tweak things and look back at yourself and improve along the way. But just by doing it weekly, daily, every month, you will get better and better. You'll improve, you'll get more comfortable talking. If you're doing YouTube videos, you get more comfortable just sitting in a room talking to yourself, looking at a camera. You'll get more comfortable with that. You'll get more comfortable streaming, talking to yourself because nobody's there because you just started off. Or you'll be more comfortable talking to people that are there. You know, it all comes with time. It all comes with time, okay. A lot of it will improve as you go. Another part, you'll need to look back at yourself to think, okay, what can I do to improve? So always look back to improve, okay? And just make the content you wanna make. Think what you want to do, what the type of content you wanna provide the people. If, 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 you, if you can't think of what content you wanna make, then think what type of content you wanna provide to the people. The people that are gonna be sitting at home, on the phones, on the PCs, and laptops watching you. What type of content do you wanna to provide to them? What type of content do you want to make yourself that will make you happy or make them happy? Pick one. Pick one that will make you happy and that you will enjoy doing and start doing it. Just to start straight away. It doesn't matter if you feel like you're going to have issues with this, this and this. You know, your editing's not the best. Your talking skills not the best. It, it, it'll get better in time, okay? Trust me, it'll get better in time. So just, just start and maybe change content in the future in the, at your six-month mark if that's the goal you set. If it's not going the way you want, Hey guys, that is it for this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope it kind of give you some clarity and maybe some insight to what type of content. You, maybe now you watch this video and go, okay, this is the type of content I'm going to do for YouTube now. This is what I'm going to do. And I'm not going to worry about this. I'm just going to start doing it. And I'm going to set myself this mark of several months, three months. And then I'm going to look back at myself and see what I can do. I hope it's helped you in some way. I really, I really generally do. Now, if you like this video, guys, I'd greatly appreciate it if you hit the like button. It means a lot to me, and it'll help get the con my content out there and fit the YouTube algorithm. If you want to see more content like this in the future and relative content to this, then be sure to hit the subscribe button. And don't forget, press the bell icon so you get notified whenever a new video comes out. All right, that's it for this video, guys. You all take care. You all have an amazing, wonderful day. And I wish you the best of luck with streaming and content creation. I'll catch you all next time, guys. You all take care. Peace.